Ready to do this one more time? Tonight, it just wouldn't be Christmas without Lifetime Christmas movies. This is amazing. I was hoping for magical. Luckily, we've got a sneak peek. To my three favorite girls. Yeah. At 14 festive films, <laughs> chock full of more magic. We want magic. More romance. For you. And more holiday cheer. And a partridge in a pear tree. Then you can shake a Yule log at. Hey! So grab some cookies, candy canes, and your favorite Christmas time beverage. Vodka, champagne, and cranberry juice. As I, Melissa Joan Hart. Oh my gosh, I love sneak peeks. Shh, no spoilers. Take you on a wondrous winter journey that might just save Christmas. Yay! Forever. All right, let's get this thing going. Hi, I'm Melissa Joan Hart, and welcome to our It's a Wonderful Lifetime movie preview. Now, Christmas is my favorite time of year, and one of the best ways to celebrate it is by watching Lifetime Christmas movies, of course. Cozying up around the TV, drinking hot cocoa, and enjoying all the heartwarming holiday stories has been one of the traditions my family looks forward to most. Which is why I need to tell you about the horrific nightmare I just had. Actually, why don't I show you? It was the holidays, and I was sitting in my living room with my family, and we turned on Lifetime, and there was just static. No movies. We're in the movie. And then I was at a holiday party and people were talking about the weather. And I asked them why they weren't talking about Lifetime Christmas movies. And they just stared at me blankly. No, there's no Lifetime Christmas movies. Then I saw Santa and his sack was empty. And I asked him where all the presents were. And he said he builds the toys while watching Lifetime Christmas movies. But there weren't any movies. No Lifetime Christmas movies. Oh. So he didn't make any toys. And so I just started screaming. No movies. Are there no Lifetime Christmas movies? <sighs> Terrifying, right? Can you imagine a world without Lifetime Christmas movies? Being deprived of all that holiday cheer. How do we remind people that Lifetime Christmas movies are a must for enjoying the holidays? What is that? Who's there? Hello, Melissa. It's me, the host of Lifetime Christmas Movies Past. <laughs> mm, that's better. I'm here to remind people of all the amazing Lifetime Christmas movies that have aired over the years. Of course, if everyone remembers their favorite movies like Christmas in the City or The Santa Con, they'll keep demanding more and then they can't go away. That's right. Lifetime Christmas movies are like anything magical. You have to keep believing in them. So if people just relive their old favorites, they'll never forget that these movies are an integral part of the holidays. So come on, let's take a look. Good morning. My forehead says Feliz, doesn't it? Dad, um... Oh. Surprise! Getting married. Christmas wishes came true. Almost. Thank you, Santa. What do you want for Christmas this year? I want you to bring my mommy and daddy back together. You got it. Really? Done and done. Merry Christmas. Wow, I'd forgotten how great those movies were. See? Now you'll remember their magic, and everyone else will too. My work here is done. Ta-da! Those were definitely some holiday classics. But is that enough? I mean, what if people feel like the movies were just better back then? Will they still want to watch this year? Who's that? It is I, the host of Lifetime Christmas Movies Present. And I also worry that people could forget that Lifetime Christmas Movies are chock full of drama and romance and holiday cheer. So tonight, I'm giving an exclusive sneak peek of the 14 instant classics you can ring in the holiday season with. Oh my gosh, I love sneak peeks. Actually, I'm so excited, I want a sneak peek of a sneak peek. Okay, hold on to your reindeer, sister. How about I just give everyone a sneak peek right now? Starting with this one, which 
Actually, Melissa, you should introduce. Pretty sure you know the incredibly beautiful and unbelievably talented star personally. Ah, yes, she does seem familiar. This movie stars, well, me as Kate Holiday, an overworked baker who gets dumped right before the holidays. And worst of all, Kate's got a big 12,000 cookies. But thanks to the help of a magical nutcracker ornament, this could be her best Christmas ever. A Very Nutty Christmas is about a girl, Kate, and she's not really enjoying the Christmas holiday, and so a vendor in a market sees that and gives her a special nutcracker. And the next morning when she wakes up, the nutcracker has come to life, but she doesn't know it's the nutcracker. <laughs> and she slowly finds the joy of Christmas again through the nutcracker. Guten Morgen. Hot chocolate? This is amazing. I was hoping for magical. Well, it is. You know, my mom used to decorate the tree at night while we were asleep, so when we woke up in the morning, it looked beautiful. My sister used to make the paper chains, and I used to string the popcorn, but my favorite part was eating it. Still some left. Caramel popcorn? Homemade. Are you kidding? And this is magical. At your service. Oh, I can't wait to see how that one turns out. Well, I already know what happened. See, when Kate finds out that, shh, no spoilers. Maybe leave the intros to me. This next film stars Rachel Boston, Caroline Ray. I know her. And Patricia Richardson in a tale of a town that must band together to stop a shady real estate developer from turning their home into a ski resort. And with the help of a magical friend, they might just succeed. Here's a little taste of A Christmas in Tennessee. My husband is quite a sweet tooth when it comes to cookies. I'm actually from Tennessee. I'm from where this movie takes place. So all of the <laughs> photos that you'll see in the film are actually of my childhood. I remember when you were just a little six-year-old. What? Oh, never mind me, dear. Santa and Mrs. Claus came all the way from the North Pole to our bakery because my mom's cookies are his favorite. They ordered a bunch for a party on Christmas Eve. After he brings all the presents to all the kids in the world, he will be eating our Rocky Top Bakery cookies. Mrs. Claus even left her hanky behind, so I have proof they were here. Everyone should try to come to our bakery and buy Santa's favorite cookies so that we can have enough money to pay the bills and make more cookies for Santa and all the kids of the world? Oh my gosh, Mom! Definitely not proof, Red. What am I gonna do? The whole town is gonna think I asked my kid to write this commercial basically begging for money. I don't think everyone's gonna think that. This is so embarrassing. Libby was just excited. But surely she doesn't think that was really Santa Claus, right? Libby believes it was true. Do you wanna take that away from her? Oh, sweet girl, what have you done? If you like that great cast, you'll love this one, starring Bethany Joy Lenz as Ellie, an urban planner whose most passionate relationship is with her job. But after heading home to help with her family's troubled poinsettia farm, Ellie rediscovers the importance of her roots and maybe finds romance is also in bloom. Poinsettias for Christmas is about a young woman who is struggling to find her independence. Okay, then why am I here? And she has to come home to deal with a family emergency on her poinsettia farm. Her family may lose the farm because the poinsettias won't turn red. What? This truck is this? Oh, jeez. Bucket in the middle of the road. Whose truck is this? Oh, oh gosh! Jeez! Oh, oh, no. oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so I... sorry. Here, let me get you something. Why is this bucket in the middle of the driveway? I tripped over it. I'm spilling it. Um, okay. I'm so sorry. That didn't do anything, did it? <laughs> it's all right. I'm, I'm well adapted. 
cleaning dirt. I'm Ellie Palmer. Oh, uh, Sean, Sean Dalton. Hey. Ellie Palmer? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're Greg's other daughter. That I am. Oh, it's great to meet you. <laughs> you too. Who, who, who are you? I mean, what do you, why are you here? I, uh, I work here at the farm. I just help your dad with the poinsettias and stuff. You work at the farm? Yeah, uh, just under a year. That's so weird. I haven't heard anything about you. Well, I've heard all about you, and it's a great <laughs> honor to meet the Ellie Palmer. I mean, your dad told me all about how you were his, his right hand since you were yay high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have been. Ooh, I do not want to miss that. I'm your host, Melissa Joan Hart, and after having a terrible nightmare about how miserable the holidays would be without Lifetime Christmas movies, I'm on a mission to make sure they're always here to stay. And who better to help than the host of Lifetime Christmas Movies present? She's bringing us exclusive previews of this year's joyous new offerings. Our next film features not one or two, but five stars from One Tree Hill. We're talking Robert Buckley, Tyler Hilton, Daniil Ackles, Antoine Tanner, and Hilary Burton. It's the OTH reunion of your dreams, as Hillary plays a web designer who decides to bring in a ringer to help face her ex during the holidays. Hey. I have a holiday film called The Christmas Contract. I play a girl named Jolie, and she is originally from Louisiana. She's living in New York City, and her best friend from college also lives in New York City. Jolie, sit down. Jolie's boyfriend has broken up with her, and he's bringing home a new chick <laughs> for Christmas. What I have before me. Naomi gets the bright idea. Why don't you bring my cute brother home? He can be your fake date. All you have to do is sign on the dotted line. And so hilarity ensues. Foster posted this on social media last night. Where do I sign? The party's about to start. This is a no-work zone for the rest of the night. Well, it's not work. It's a gift. All right, five minutes, or you're on the naughty list. Woo-hoo! Babe, um, what do you spike the eggnog with? Rum or bourbon? Either. Mm. <laughs> First guests. I'm not a guest. Girl, no. You're family. <laughs> I'm gonna use both. It's just my brother. Wow, dial down the enthusiasm, sis. Ooh, I'm definitely adding this one to my DVR right now. Hey, cool snow globe. I was just thinking, Lifetime Christmas movies are kind of like snowflakes. You know, each one is special, but what if, like snowflakes, they're gone forever once winter ends? That'll never happen. Not when people see this next movie starring Megan Hilty. It's got it all, a budding romance, a mysterious disappearance, and a boot? That's right, in this delightful Cinderella story, a woman tries to track down her dashing Kris Kringle using the only clue she has, the black boot from a Santa costume. Santa's Boots is kind of a reversal of the Cinderella story. Only instead of a glass slipper, we have Santa's boots. Good morning, songbird. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle dove, and a partridge in a pear tree. Whoa. What's going on? What do you mean? You never sing with me. Mm. You're in love. What? <gasps> with that Santa? Stop, I'm not in love. Mm-hmm. Yet. I don't know about you, but I'll watch any movie about shoes. Well. This next one doesn't have any forgotten footwear, but it does have one of my other loves, shopping. When two overworked single parents find themselves at a toy store during the holiday rush, the last thing they're in the market for is romance. But when a swapping snafu makes their holidays go haywire, they'll need to join forces to get Christmas back on track. Starring the lovely and talented Vanessa Lachey, you won't want to miss it. Excuse me. Hi, pardon me. Can you... I can relate so much as a mother. You want to do so much for your children, and you just want to get them that perfect gift. And I found the perfect gift, but then ended up losing it somehow. And it's the struggle of me trying to find it back. <laughs> so romantic. At the store, our parents are buying gifts, and then they argue about which gift is theirs. So then they swap gifts. 
but you know, sometimes mixing things up doesn't hurt. Uh, I'm here to pick up a unicorn. Uh, nothing, Terrence. I just had the radio on. Uh, put Emily back on. Uh, yeah. Emily, can you read that last paragraph of Kevin to me, please? Hey, Christmas. Who's next? Uh, I, I am. I believe she was helping me first. No, she definitely made eye contact with me, as she asked. Made eye contact over her shoulder? Hey, you're um, actually holding a robot for me I called last week. I'm here to pick up a rainbow light-up unicorn with voice recording feature. It's on hold for me as well. I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. No problem. I'm sure that um, Patty can help you as soon as we're done. I'm sorry, but this is urgent. A real unicorn's easier to find. <laughs> Trust me, if you think that's rare, my son says that this robot is the sole survivor of the Battle of Zephron 5. Also, you know, I mean, unicorns, they're like everywhere in this store. Uh, not rainbow paddock unicorns that light up in periwinkle and let you record your voice in it. Trust me, I've been looking for weeks. Don't worry. Oh. You're both here to pick something up, and I can help both of you. If I could just get your names. Hewitt. Cooper. I'll be right back. Uh, Cooper first, and maybe you could show me how to record a message to my daughter. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Giving gifts is definitely one of my favorite holiday traditions. The look of anticipation on people's faces as they open them is priceless. And speaking of anticipation, we've got even more Christmas movie previews to share. And stick around later for our special gift to you a musical performance from the cast members of some of Lifetime's Christmas movies. So, ho, ho, hold on to your remotes. My favorite Christmas drink is eggnog, hands down. I'm an apple cider girl. I love, love eggnog. Spiked Inside. eggnog. Spiked eggnog. <laughs> how it smells, the aroma. Do you know how many calories is in eggnog? Wow, these questions are getting deep. Um, My favorite Christmas drink is Hanukkah. <laughs> the only... Christmas drink I think I know is eggnog. Anything spiked. Different types of alcohol. I love eggnog. Let me and my dad have. Oh, I think it's so good and so creamy. Wakes me up at 8 a.m. Wake up, son. Have a beer with your pop. Vodka, champagne, and cranberry juice. Champagne. Mm. With a little orange zest. You don't like eggnog? No, it's so thick. It's delicious. We're all going to Donnie's for Christmas. <laughs> You know how George Bailey sees how sad the world would be without him? Well, I saw something worse. The world without Lifetime Christmas movies. I mean, luckily, the host of Christmas Present is here to preview this year's films to ensure that never happens. Here's a special treat, a sneak peek featuring one of my all-time favorite artists. In this updated spin on A Christmas Carol, Grammy award-winning artist Tony Braxton plays a woman who dumps her boyfriend on Christmas. But after being visited by the boyfriends of past, present, and future, she comes face to face with the romantic possibilities that could have been and those that still could be. When I got this project, I was so excited about doing it and producing it because I thought it was nice to get a female's take on it, you know, a girl's perspective. Honey, do you know how to turn this thing off for me? You know, sometimes girls, we can be scroogey. And I thought it was just so delightful how she came full circle and realized that love was missing. And of course, women, we all love love. You make time for things that matter most. So, are you saying I'm one of those things? I am. I got something for you. Bam. <laughs> Open it. <laughs> it's an ornament. Yep. You give me one of these every single year, even though you know I never, ever decorate trees. Yes. That's because it's our tradition. But this year, <laughs> I would like to start a new tradition where we actually hang it on a tree together. I'd like that. Me too. Well, I do love me some Tony Braxton, but if you thought that movie was music to your ears, this next one is like music to your eyes. Starring Tatiana Ali, this movie is about a woman forced to reunite with her former flame when she heads home to make music for the annual Christmas pageant. Hey sis, Belle is a very successful jingle writer in New York, and she's 
come to a place in her creative life where she's just completely blocked. And there's a 50th anniversary in her small town where she grew up, which she hasn't been back to in years. The mayor wants to celebrate with an original Christmas song about the town. Her sister invites her to write that special song. I can't just go home and write a Christmas song. And the stars happen to align. I can get her on a plane tomorrow. Emery, I don't know if... Oh my goodness, <laughs> Belle, this is great. I think that combination of creativity and having an open heart is really special. It's what makes the movie very beautiful to me. What just happened? Isabel, don't you get it? A little hometown Christmas magic is just what you need to break that writer's block. How exactly? Think about it. Spending Christmas in your little hometown with your family away from the hustle and bustle back to Indiana. Ohio. Huh. It's just what you need to make the connection with the message that the clients want. Okay. Um... No, see, <laughs> I am pretty sure if I just work on this a little bit more, I could come up with something. No, we don't want something. No, 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 no. We want magic. Lisa! Oh. Yes, Emery. Please book a flight for Isabel to Indiana. Ohio. Right away. Oh, sure. These movies remind me why I can't imagine spending the holidays without them. I mean, it'd be like candy canes without stripes or missile without the toe. Well, luckily, this next movie isn't lacking anything. It stars Stephen Coletti and Beverly Mitchell as a woman who returns home to spend Christmas with her widowed father. Except, turns out dear old dad is dating again, and his new gal pal is the mother of her high school nemesis. Will these former frenemies make nice for mom and dad, or will an old rivalry keep their families apart? Take a look. There are two nice love affairs in this movie. The younger one. Does she find a flame? Who might that be? Come on. Oh, no. And the older one. Yes, we get to fall in love. <laughs> Even yeah. though we've known each other for a while. Children have been born <laughs> in the span of our friendship. Southern Snowman. I have made plenty of snowmen in my life, but none without the snow. Well, here's your chance, babe. <laughs> Mom, Dad, Will, and I would pair off for a little friendly competition. Except with Noel, the friendly part was very optional. Oh, OK, OK. So I could be a little bit competitive. <laughs> a little? <laughs> and the best part is the losers by the winner spice cider. Mm -hmm. Well, I am not buying. <laughs> we'll see about that. So. Are you ready to defend our title partner? I was thinking because it's Jen's first time, she and I would partner up and we're engaged, so. Yeah. Of course. Sorry, sis. Yes. Gosh, duh. No, I, Dad. <laughs> what do you say we kick a little too? Let's do it. I'll take it from here, hosty with the most E. Still not convinced how essential Lifetime Christmas movies are? Then you probably have no heart and your ugly Christmas sweater isn't even that ugly. But either way, We've got more previews of Lifetime Christmas movies on the way. Cooking. Thank you. I love cooking. Food. Anything with food. Favorite food is stuffing for the holidays. This huge paella. To be in the kitchen and to have people around me. Whatever you like. A big round ball of tofurkey. As long as it's stuffing. Tasting and talking. Austrian cheese fondue. Knowing that a meal is going out on the table. With crab legs on the side. Is that tofu? Yep. It's... So amazing. That's about as good as it gets for me. I'm Melissa Joan Hart, and I'm on a mission to make sure everyone knows that Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without Lifetime Holiday Movies. And helping me out are the hosts of Lifetime Christmas Movies, past, present, and future. But first, if you think finding the perfect Christmas gift for your family is tough, imagine having to shop for everyone at Lifetime. I'm known for giving creative gifts that are relative to the person. I took my mom to Africa. I just gave my husband last year a custom-made amp for his guitar. It was an amazing trip. I remember being five years old, and my favorite Christmas gift ever was my green Easy Bake Oven. I gave my mother a car for Christmas. One year, my brother and I gave each other exactly the same thing. And I had a big red bow on it. If anyone gives gifts that make sense to a person's interests, I'm the guy that gets that gift. And she thought that the bow was the present. 
generally. I was like, no, mommy, I'm got you. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I still have more shopping to do. How about some more previews while I hunt for cyber sales? Sure thing. Next up, few bonds are stronger than a pact made at Christmas. So when 10-year-old besties Ben and Sadie pool pennies to buy a tree, they swear to spend every Christmas together. But when Sadie's family announces they're moving, their promise gets put to the test. Starring Kadeem Hardison and Jasmine Guy, I'll make you pinky swear to watch this one. Hey, Sadie Bug, want to come hang your stocking? Everything all right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just a little distracted. Oh, yeah. I think we know what's going on. We do? Of course we do. We're your parents. You worried about the big move last Christmas in Newburgh? Your mother and I feel the same way. This place has been our home since before you were born. The thing about life is you have to know when to move on. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's not like he's... Newburgh is going anywhere. I guess I'm just realizing how important it is to me. The good news is, if you miss him, it can always visit. Yeah, it just will never be the same. I was promised something once, that I'd never have to experience Christmas without Lifetime movies. <laughs> and you won't have to. Once people see this next film starring Tia Mallory Hardricht as a busy working woman who inherits her grandma's Alaskan bed and breakfast during the holidays. Where are the elves? I gave him the week off. Something about a prior commitment. I think it goes beyond being a Christmas movie. It's about love. It's about what life is really about. I guess the end is officially yours. Congratulations slowing down and focusing on what really matters. Wow, I own an inn. I never thought I'd say that, which is your family and your friends. Why not just use last year's sleigh? Let's just say last year, Lana thought it'd be a good idea to use real reindeer <laughs> to use the sleigh. <laughs> you know, the reindeer, they were fine. They went their own way. Just uh, slay one another. Right. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. You gotta slow down, you're rushing. Okay. Relax. Yeah, there you go. Just back and forth. Nice and easy. Yeah, see, that's not so bad, is it? No. No, it's not. You got it. Ooh, that one looks more fun than an afternoon of reindeer games. And there's plenty more fun to be had, so throw another log on the fire because there are more previews on the way. Not to mention a very, very special musical surprise. The most romantic thing that's ever happened to me over the holidays was I got engaged. I thought it was pretty special. One year, me and my girlfriend were doing long distance across the country from each other, and I got on a plane and I surprised her on Christmas Eve. I have had romantic Christmas stories that have happened to me but they're not PG. I was walking from a bar to my hotel with a friend, and the snow was falling, and all the little lights were twinkling, and then I got a really nice kiss, just suddenly, right in the middle of the street. And it was Christmas time, and it was lovely. I'm Melissa Joan Hart, and tonight I'm being joined by the hosts of Lifetime Christmas movies, past, present, and future, to make sure that watching these instant classics always remains an essential part of the holidays. Like trimming the tree, hanging lights, and playing Secret Santa. I love getting thoughtful gifts from strangers. No wonder I love this next movie starring Sarah Drew. When a recently dumped woman heads home for the holidays, she reluctantly signs up for an anonymous holiday pen pal service called Christmas Cupid. But will the mystery man whose letters she's falling for turn out to be the handsome doctor she hopes, or someone she could never have expected? You interested in signing up for the town's Christmas Cupid? It's a very sweet story about falling in love through handwritten letters. Pen pal, huh? Hannah is a person who's experienced a lot of grief. This could be perfect. She goes home to try to reconnect with what it means to fall in love. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no not for me, no, for my dad. And gets to do this really fun pen pal 
situation. And... Would you just tell Dad that he has to sign up for the Christmas Cupid thingy? I sign up, Grandpa. Maybe we'll be pen pals. I think it's a great idea. See? For you. What? For me? Now that I can get on board with. OK, nice try, but no. I need to spend every waking moment trying to save Perfect One. Naomi needs me to focus on researching old-fashioned ways of falling in love that are both timeless and sentimental. Look for, for other people, not for me. No. Besides, I don't, I don't even want to meet someone new. I just got dumped, so... Technically, you're not meeting them. You're just writing to them. Okay, you know what? This whole thing was supposed to be about Dad, so I'm not quite sure what's happening. <laughs> Why don't you both sign up? Brilliant! Really? Now that seems fair to me. The only way I will sign up is if you do too. Are you serious right now? Do we have a deal? You know what? It might actually be good for research purposes. So, okay, fine. <laughs> fine. fine. Uh, that's the only reason I'm doing it. Well, it looks like Christmas just got a lot more interesting. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I wrote a secret letter to a mystery man once. I made him promise he'd always bring me more Lifetime movies for Christmas. Well, Santa got your letter, and this year he's bringing you this special one. It's about a venture capitalist named Claire, who has a failed IPO, and takes a much-needed Christmas getaway to Vermont. After discovering her apartment building features a bookstore run by tenants, Claire quickly shows she has a head for business. But after she meets the store's owner, it's her heart that might be put to the test. Christmas Around the Corner is about Claire Clayson, a venture capitalist in New York. She's sort of had a fumble at work and decided to take a vacation to a town her mother always used to talk about. So has the Christmas festival started yet? Every Christmas, they decorate the town up and down with all of these beautiful lights and candles, and she's really looking forward to it. The festival's canceled this year. What? And she gets there, and there's no Christmas. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm so, so sorry. <coughs> What's going on in here? Isn't it great? She's only been here a few hours. Think what the rest of the month will be like. <laughs> Claire, we don't expect our guests to reinvent the wheel during their stay. You're on holiday. Enjoy yourself. I am. I was thinking we could do some wreaths in the windows, maybe some garland and twinkly lights. Can you help me with that? I don't think so, no. Really? Why? Well, the bookstore's not doing holiday decorations. Nobody in town is. No, just something, you know, like tasteful and elegant. It is freezing in here. We're wasting energy. The heat doesn't even work, so it doesn't matter. Wow, that one really looks great. Better load up on ham and fruitcake because there's a lot more Christmas cheer to come. And if you love Christmas music as much as I do, you won't want to miss what's next. My favorite holiday tradition actually starts on November 2nd. It's me and my husband's anniversary, and we choose to spend our anniversary by decorating our house for Christmas. Sing Christmas songs very loudly, off key. <laughs> my son dresses up as Santa, my daughter dresses up as Mrs. Claus, the other kids are dressed up like elves. We set up the big family photo every uh -huh. Christmas where it's like on a stand, the camera, and then my uncle runs over <laughs> and gets in it, and so the whole family's captured. That's so cute. Craving even more Lifetime Christmas movies? We'll start a free trial of Lifetime Movie Club to stream over 35 more holiday movies, including SantaCon, starring yours truly. Grab some eggnog, kick back, and watch commercial-free movies anytime, anywhere. Visit LifetimeMovieClub.com to get started. This is our final chance to convince you of just how terrible the holidays would be without Lifetime movies. And take it from my subconscious, they'd be terrible. Looks like the host of Christmas Present has one final preview. But first, we've still got a little Christmas magic up our sleeve. You've been waiting the whole show for this, so get ready for this exclusive music video featuring the stars of your favorite Lifetime Christmas movies. 
Jingle bells. I love jingle bells. My gosh, so many different versions to see. Dashing through the snow. In a one horse, horse open sleigh. sleigh. Or the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. Bells on bobtail ring. Making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. No, you singing with me. Jingle, jingle all the way. Oh, oh what fun it is to ride in a one. Open sleigh. Hey! hey. Ta da! <laughs> wow, that had more star power than a truckload of ornaments. All right, last but certainly not least, in our final movie, the lovely Tear Sirkar is sent on a scavenger hunt throughout New York City. Will she track down a collection of vintage ornaments, or will she find something even more precious? The movie is about how traditions help you store memories. Grandma, you're giving me these? Of course. And each ornament brings back a memory to Whitney. They're a piece of our Christmas family history. And I'm there to aid her on her journey to find all these ornaments. Oh, thanks. Oh. I remember getting this one. What, that was from the local artist, right? Mm-hmm. I got it at a Christmas fair in Chicago when I was 12. I was obsessed with glass blowing for a year. Wait, how did you know that? What, are you, you're implying that I'm behind all of this? Whitney, if I planned a scavenger hunt, and that is a big F, it certainly would not be here. Hmm. <sighs> We've only found two. At this rate, I'll be lucky if I find them all by next Christmas. Read the letter. Hopefully you got an ornament at a diner one year. You can go there next. I'm starving. Remember your youth when nothing was better than making a wish and sending Santa a letter. So what, I have to send Santa a letter now? How would I even go about doing that? I have no idea. Don't laugh. You're not the one who lost her beloved grandmother's precious Christmas ornaments. You would find this funny. You're right. Wow, that may have been last, but it definitely wasn't least. Well, after seeing all those movie previews, I can safely say there is absolutely no doubt that Lifetime Christmas movies are the best part of the holiday season. Just so like thanks for watching, everybody, and hopefully... Ne hey, hey, excuse me, can we try to keep things down? I'm trying to wrap things up here. Wait a minute, Melissa. It is I, the host of Lifetime Christmas Movies Future. And as someone who's seen the future, I know this special doesn't end until we show some of the many Lifetime movies that'll be happening in the years to come. How is that possible? I mean, those movies haven't even been made. Hmm, good point. Well, I can at least give you an exclusive look at some of the stories that are in the works for next year's movies. Take a look. Another song, another song, another song. No, I think it's time we have to get to work. We have to start making our selections for Christmas 2019. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Christmas movies. Who's got ideas? OK, what about this? This guy runs a mistletoe farm. This girl loses her kid and goes to look for him at the mistletoe farm. They meet up, and they fall in love, and then find her son at the end. That's like married at first sight at Christmas, right? <laughs> Bam, boom, Mary. <laughs> I like a mistletoe farm. Yeah. See? Where should our couples kiss at the end of our movies next year? In front of the Rockefellers in a tree. That's Love iconic it. New York. Igloos, after a snowball fight, in the Ice Hotel. The in the Ice, ice hotel. hotel. I love the Ice Hotel. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. In the Write ice that hotel. one down. Yeah. A Christmas cruise. Christmas cruise. In yeah. Alaska. Going to Alaska. Alaska. What if they overshoot on the cruise that's going to Alaska and end up at the North Pole? Oh! I love it! <laughs> that's perfect! So what about Christmas in Poughkeepsie? Ooh, 
Ooh, that's got a ring to it. Small town USA. Christmas good, good, party. Good. I love it. Yeah. Woo! Oh, for the holidays, yoga studio Christmas. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's going on oh the bar. God. We have a winner. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, lifetime. That's what lifetime. we think of when we Christmas think of Christmas, Christmas right? Office parties. <laughs> I will definitely keep my eye out for that one. Well, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Bye-bye. Wow, looks like Christmas is going to start in November this year. First up is My Christmas Inn. Next, a reunion of some of the stars of One Tree Hill in The Christmas Contract. Poinsettias for Christmas follows. With Every Day is Christmas, bringing romance to a singing star, coming next. Ringing in after is Jingle Bell. Then my personal favorite, for obvious reasons, is A Very Nutty Christmas. Starting us off in December is A Twist of Christmas, followed by The Christmas Pact, and then Christmas Lost and Found. Santa's Boots steps up next, followed by A Christmas in Tennessee. Just a few days later, it's Christmas Around the Corner, with Christmas Pen Pals airing shortly after. And rounding out our amazing 14 holiday films is Hometown Christmas. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to check out all the incredibly awesome Lifetime Christmas movies airing this season and all the ones airing in the years to come. And check out LifetimeMovieClub.com to enjoy the great movies from Christmas past. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night.